Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to get some more horsepower, more performance out of your already installed GMC Sierra and Chevrolet Silverado air intake. What a lot of people don't know is that the factory intake is actually a cold air intake. It uses the air from the inside of the fender, the colder air, not the trapped air under the hood, through this little foam gasket to get its air. First we want to take this cover off. Remove the two 10 millimeters in this bracket and then take the bracket out of the way. Next, we're going to disconnect the mass airflow sensor and the harness. Next, loosen the 8 millimeter worm clamp and the hose. Next, pull the air box out. So on your air box, you got your air intake where the air goes into your box underneath the filter. Go ahead and remove that by just pulling on it. And on the box itself, you got your big opening and then you have another little opening right here. On that little opening, there's no cutout so you can actually get a little bit more airflow right through here. So what we're going to do to get more airflow, like I said before, we're going to go ahead and cut this piece right here out. But we're also going to cut this out and give you a little bit more airflow through here. Just bring up the air intake and the performance on it. Gotta go ahead and drill a hole right here. Another one right here. Another one right here. another one right here in the bottom one we're gonna drill a hole here and here what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a jigsaw and I'm gonna drill from here to here here to here here to here and here back here take that section out then I'm gonna drill this from here to here and here back around here and take this section out all right so this is my finished bezel you can see how I cut it out got a little bit more room added the bottom get a little bit more room out of there uh, I used a piece of uh, sandpaper and a Dremel tool to uh, to clean it up uh, it don't have to be perfect now for the uh, air filter, I'm just going to go ahead and use the K&N air filter. Uh, you can use whatever you want. I like the green air filter myself. I'll link both of them in the description. Go ahead and take the air box and uh, disassemble it by taking these uh, four eight millimeters loose right here. Take your old air filter out. Get all the trash out there for the air box. Go ahead and put your new air filter in the air box. Go ahead and re reassemble it.
Go ahead and put your uh, piece back on. Lubricate the uh, two little rubber bushings right here to help you get the uh, intake in easier. Go ahead and sit the air intake back in. Install the uh, rubber boot. Tighten up your worm clamp. Go ahead and install your mass airflow sensor connector and the harness. Install the bar. Install the cover. And you're done thanks again for watching my video i hope it was helpful if it was go ahead and hit that like button and as always if you haven't already please subscribe thanks again for watching my video